Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening, uh, Fernando. How's everything? Yes. It's okay, good to see you here. Hello, Veronica. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, welcome. Have two people and waiting for the rest so that we can start quickly. Now, you know, tonight we have some practice, right? Are you ready, Fernando, with the activity? With the homework assignment and the activity? Right now. No, no, not right now, but I mean, are you ready? Yes. Okay, very good. That's what I, what I like. Okay. okay. When I ask you to participate, try to do it, okay, simultaneously as, as you have done it so far. Okay, okay. I, I have Chansey, good evening. Hello, Chansey, good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, are you teacher. coming back home? Eh, voy a estar bien porque estoy bien mal de la garganta. Oh, okay. So, but try to keep connected, okay? That's Gracias. going to help you. That's going to help you a lot, right? So, try to pay special okay. attention. If you are able to participate by using the the chat, that would be fantastic, okay? I have Merlin. Good evening, Merlin. Good evening, teacher. How's everything? How are you today? Um, I'm fine. Okay. Um, a little hard for many, many work. <laughs> I ha you have been working a lot. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. you feel a little tired. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay, and I remember we have only, I mean, exercises tonight we need to have some review and we need to go over some vocabulary and all the stuff okay uh, good to see you i can see gladys over here good evening gladys now daniel finally get into the class hello good evening uh, hello good evening good to see you good to see you gladys so it will, it will be really nice if you activate your camera, remember. I highly recommend you to activate your camera. Everalis got into the class. Well, it's three minutes after eight, right? So I will wait like two minutes more so that everybody can gather into the class, can get into the class. Later, we are going to practice, you know. Good. Yeah, ah, Ronan, I'm sorry I couldn't answer in the in the WhatsApp group. I was very busy, but I saw I saw the message. I'm sorry. I I apologize. I saw a, a message in the WhatsApp group and I couldn't answer. I'm sorry. And let me see. Well, People are just getting into the class and that's fantastic. Well, I will check list attendance. Uh, meanwhile, I do so. Do me the favor to, to be ready with the activities, okay? Now, you know, on Monday, we, uh, well, I will say this info at the end, okay? Um, anyways, we have classes tomorrow. Uh, Aidan, I know Aidan is there, Belen. Daniel. Present teacher. Good. Edgar. Gladys. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Jonathan Josue. Jose Daniel. Juan Fernando. Present teacher. Good. Maria Elba. Cristobal. Present teacher. Excellent, Cristova. Good to listen to you. Marie, uh, Marta Berenice. Present 
Merlin. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Michael. Noah. Norma Xiomara. Present teacher. Okay, Norma. Ronan. Teresa. Vera Liz. Present teacher. Okay, any chance? Yeah, no chance is there also. Present teacher. Thank you. Hey, uh, I was just checking the uh, the attendance, okay? And uh, now I will let you know, but I will, I will let you see this info so that you can see something over here that's quite important, okay? Okay, Berenice is at present and Ronan also, I know. Okay, now I wish I will share this just to clarify something. I don't know if you have seen this info before. Well, I I, I explained to the group the last uh, level, but I consider it's, it's quite good for you to remember about this info. Okay. Oh, I have thirteen people. Well, I, I will wait a little bit, but I think it's better if I, sh I show this information at the end. Yeah, I will do it at the end. So welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. Now let's try to make some minutes so that everybody can get into the class. Uh, Michael, now I can see you over here. You are uh, drinking some water because you are going to participate a lot tonight. <laughs> that, hey good piece of advice okay so now that you know that would be the message right michael exactly right ahora que ya saben que van a participar mucho en la clase tengan su botellita con agua su bolsita con agua ese es el mensaje que nos quería transmitir miguel excelente michael gracias por ayudar <laughs> okay, tengan su botellita con agua interesante eso pero Ah, sí, solo que ahora hace un poquito vamos a tocar lo que es este <laughs> eh, el tema de ayer. No, no lo voy a mencionar ahorita. Okay, but something that's important, okay, is, you know, what did you learn today? What did you learn today? What is the, a new expression that you want to share with the rest of the group? ¿Cuál es la expresión que se aprendieron ahora en inglés? Okay, raise your hand and, and participate. The power of imagination make us infinite, infinite. Algo así era. The power of imagination, imagination. makes us infinite, infinite, infinito. Okay, infinity. I think right. Infinity. Yeah. Okay, that's fantastic. Thank you, Daniel. Now, ima the, the, the power of imagination. Imagination. Because imagination. Imagination, Rosa. Imagination. So that's a word that you will never forget. That's really good. Okay, anybody else? Thank you, Daniel. Anybody else? I really appreciate when you participate actively in the class, right? Anybody else? Anybody else? New expression? Yeah. What do you learn today? Okay. okay, Fernando, and after Fernando, Michael, okay? Okay. Uh, everything is possible. Everything is possible. And I will add something. If you believe. Ah, okay. Now, I, I, will, I will add, okay? But that was, that's fantastic, Fernando. Everything okay. is, is possible, okay? Everything is possible. Michael? Yes, teacher, I... I learned two words. Uh, say old ones and young ones. Old ones and young ones. Uh -huh. Okay. Young ones. Very good. The old ones and the young ones. Regarding to yeah. young people and old people. Is that right, uh, Michael? Okay, Maria, I got your message in the chat. Don't worry. Okay. I will try to remember it, okay? 
Thank you. And that's really nice, Michael. Young one, old one, new one. Okay, old one. Okay. Okay, anybody else? New expression, vocabulary that you've learned? Ah, Merlin wants to participate. And after Merlin, Gladys, okay? Merlin? Fulfill, fulfill the agreed commitment. Fulfill the agreed uh, commitment. Ah, go ahead, Merlin. Es cumplir con los objetivos pactados. Wow. Now, do you see the info in the, in the, in the chat? Fulfill the agreed commitments. Hey, thank you, Merlin. I really love that one. Saben que nosotros hemos hecho un acuerdo, ¿o no? Tenemos metas bastante claras. Yo se las dije en el primer día, ¿ok? Y espero que... Y bueno, y acordamos que íbamos a tratar de, de cumplirlas, ¿ok? Así que sigamos haciendo nuestro mejor esfuerzo. Fulfill the agreed commitments. Thank you. Eh, Gladys? Hello. Hello, hello. Um, and on this beautiful journey, Khalil Khal, life, I want to travel thousands of kilometers smiling. Hey, that, that is deeply, right? <laughs> that is, you, you were very inspired. Gladys estaba muy inspirada. Y qué bonito está. ¿Por qué no lo coloca acá en el chat, Gladys? Para okay. que todos pues traten también de, de agarrar esas, esas excelentes vibras para ir por la vida ahí sonriendo, aprendiendo, disfrutando. Thank you. Ok, now we are going to start. We're going to start. Ok, hope everybody is ready. Espero que todos estén listos. Para participar, recuerden, este día es de práctica. Mañana también va a ser de práctica. Ok, so, we're going to go over the activities. Let me see how many people do I have in the class so far. Oh, I have the majority of people. Do, so, this is the time. I, I, I will share the info that I got here. Ok. Voy a compartir un documento donde se, se lleva el, el récord de cada uno de ustedes. Ok. Lo muestro con el objetivo de que ustedes vean que cada minuto, cada porcentaje, cada tarea este, queda registrado. Okay. Si alguien, por ejemplo, faltó un día, hay alguien que está llamando y está preguntando, ¿sucedió algo? ¿Está enfermito? ¿Está enfermita? Eh, queremos saber por qué no se conectó, por qué se conectó solo 20 minutos o 30 o a lo que se han conectado. Pero marca el día, marca el tiempo que ustedes han estado conectando. Y más adelante en el cuadrito también está el porcentaje general y las actividades que ustedes hacen. Y que quedan registradas, por supuesto, principalmente en la, en la plataforma. Thank you, Gladys. Wow, I like that. And on this beautiful journey called life, I want to travel thousands of kilometers smiling. Good. Okay, so, uh, lo muestro para que ustedes puedan es, estar conscientes de que cada, cada esfuerzo para nosotros vale muchísimo. O sea, sabemos que son personas que trabajan mucho y que están muy ocupaditos, pero también recuérdense que el objetivo del, del, de estos cursos es que ustedes aprendan, o sea, que aprendan y aprendan significativamente. Now, we're going to start with these activities. Okay, now, you know, the topics that we have been studying so far are how to use infinitives, uh, ING forms after prepositions. Uh, with the, okay, what, what, what was <laughs> the topic we studied yesterday, Annie? What do you love, Anima? <laughs> <laughs> what was the topic? <laughs> what was the topic? <laughs> you don't even want to mention it, right? No lo quieren mencionar, hey, se llama The Passive Voice, ¿ok? No le tengamos miedo a esto, ¿ok? Solo, miren, solo este ejercicio vamos a hacer respecto a ello, 
No os preocupéis que mañana vamos con esto. Ok, so, let me see. Uh, Aníbal, today is another chance. To... Excellent, Aníbal. Thank you. That's, that's awesome. Today is another chance to be a better person. Wow. Thanks for remembering that. Now, uh, you know, in life, there are ups and downs. Okay, así se dice, en la vida hay altos, altos y bajos. Alto y in bajo. life, there are ups and downs. Y saben que en inglés también hay. Eh, eh, se puede encontrar con eso. Vamos a decir, hay temas difíciles, hay temas... Ya cuando pasa el tiempo, se van a, van a decir, wow, y aquello era, era la voz pasiva, qué fácil estaba. ¿Por qué? Porque sí, ustedes bueno. van a encontrar otras cosas que son un poquito más, más difíciles, ¿ok? Now, our products... Now, this is a review about the topic we studied yesterday, right? So, this is the only, this is, these are the, the, like, five minutes that we're going to spend on it. I told you uh, that we, we were not going to continue with it today, but uh, we have this exercise over here, in, 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 it is not going to take us more than five minutes. So, we're going to try to do it as soon as possible, then we forget about passive voice tonight, but tomorrow we will continue. Now... Uh, I have this one, and then just let me know what comes to your mind or what do you think is the best option over here. A product rate as five of the most popular in the United States. Rate is a base form. A rated is rotten, is rotted. A rated. First one? First, yes. yes. Okay, yes. a product is a rated. Very good. Our regional managers, base form, consider as the most efficient in the company, has considered, are considered, okay, I con are considered, are considered. Are considered. First, second, or third one? Third. third. Are considered. Very good. Number three, this brand, see, as the leader in the fashion industry, our scene is so is seen. Is seen. Is seen. Is seen. Is seen. All right. Very good. Now, is seen. Well, I, I won't go to pronunciation tonight, but... <laughs> But grammar, okay, tonight is a purple for working in grammatical structure. The company know is the base form as a major producer of shoes in the region. Is new, is known, is known. Is known. Is known. Is known, right? Very good. Number five. Their vegetables, vegetables rate as the most contaminated of the national market. Rate are red, are rooted, are rated. Are rated. Are rated. Are rather. I, I, I wrote it. This one? I know, I know. As are rated. rated. Uh, so that's uh, a regular verb, right? Regular. Rated. Right. Yeah. Right. Rated. Okay, let's see. We're going to check uh, the, the answers. And we're going to forget for a while. Now, when I say for a while, cuando digo for a while, ¿qué significa? ¿Por qué? No, for a while. When I say for a while. For a while. For a while. We're going to forget it for a while. For a while. New expression, maybe, for you. For, for a while. Para mientras. Ah, ok. So we're going to forget it. Nos vamos a olvidar por un ratito de esto, ok. Por un ratito, porque vamos a practicar otras cosas. Pero mañana regresamos a Fancy Boys. <risa> Now, look at it. Thing we have. Wow, you have done a great job in, regarding to passive voice. Our products are rated. Our regional managers are considered. This brand 
is seen. Oh, the company is known. Their vegetables are rated. And that's it, right? Simple like that. Uh, uh, besides that, I want you to remember to work in the platform. Ahora estaba viendo eh, lo, los resultados de la plataforma. Recuerden, se ya mañana cerramos la primera semana y la primera nota de actividades ya debe estar reflejadas en la plataforma, ¿ok? Busquemos el 100%. En el, en el módulo anterior casi, casi logramos el 100. Casi. Solo hubieron como una o dos personas que lograron el 96%. ¡Wow! Eso fue genial. Pues queremos hacer eso o mejor todavía. Now, listen. Well, we're going to go over the activities. Ok, now. Well, we're going to have some review, right, people? Remember, this class is about uh, vocabulary, but also we are going to continue like having some uh, review about the activities that we have been studying lately, right? So in order to study, okay, I have the information. Well, yesterday we were talking about this vocabulary, right? About the core values such as efficiency, innovation, respect, punctuality, service, etc. Right? Loyalty, etc. We saw this exercise. And, and then we have this um, conversation. Some of you read it. Okay. And we were like uh, identifying certain expressions such as my department is responsible for keeping I well this is a question will I be responsible to you the maintenance chief is in charge of re, uh, directing okay etc right so what are we going to do the first activity we're going to do is the following okay remember vocabulary is quite important well hey i don't know what's happening my 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 laptop is very slow tonight yeah i don't know what's happening Okay, now yes, right? So we're gonna do something, people. Um, well, this is the first time we're gonna work in groups. We are gonna go over the page number 13, okay? And what are you going to do? You are going to create, or you are going to uh, work in, in, in a group of, uh, or in trios, okay? So that you can create a new, a new conversation similar to this one. So, but what what are you going? What is the information that you are going to include? Well, you can include information such as the one that appears over here, okay, regarding to the the department re relates to others in, in the organization of your job, okay. Now, I will read this conversation so that you get the idea, okay. Hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I'm in, I'm the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I if I need help? Sure. Now, what do you see over here? You have some, there's a chart, okay, in which you can see like the way a, a company is organized, right? Uh, machine operators, Assemblers, truck drivers, supervisor, maintenance personnel, maintenance chief, safety engineer, and that is 
the floor manager, right? So, what are you going to do? Well, you're going to... Give me a second. I'm facing problems with my laptop. <laughs> Okay. Well, you have two options, actually. Vamos a dejarlo como dos opciones. Una, se aprende en esta conversación, aprendida, ok, sin necesidad de leerla. Y otra, es que la modifiquen y coloquen la información que ustedes desean referente a la compañía donde ustedes trabajan. Ok. Voy a dar exactamente 15 minutos, ¿ok? Para que puedan trabajar en ello. Saben que lo voy a colocar en, en grupos de tres, porque recuérdense que tenemos entre nosotros listeners, personas que por algún motivo no pueden participar directamente con nosotros, pero que están allí, están escuchando, están aprendiendo de esa manera, pero al mismo tiempo a algunos les toca estar trabajando en, en, en sus lugares de, de trabajo todavía. Entonces es de comprender. Por eso es que vamos a hacer grupos de tres. ¿Les parece? Yes, okay. eso, es, eso es para comenzar. Miren, les recomiendo y, y les sugiero que, ok, se van, a, se van a, a memorizar esto, ok, pero si pueden incluir el vocabulario que no está aquí, Está perfecto, porque si ustedes ven, el tema que nos compete ahora es más de vocabulario, ¿ok? Por supuesto, hay que incluirle gramática que hemos venido estudiando. En el caso, infinitivos y ING después de uh, las preposiciones. Eso es lo que quisiera ver más directamente y vocabulario. Ok, dicho esto, let us start working with the activity. Is everybody ready? Remember, 15 minutes. Los que ya estuvieron conmigo en grupos anteriores saben que, eh, pues, me gusta ser muy puntual si digo 15 minutos. Algunas veces lo extiendo, pero dependiendo de lo que vaya viendo en, en, en los grupos de trabajo. Que le decía, es a 18. Okay, that's really good. We're going to have six groups. Okay, as soon as you get into the groups, start working, okay? 15 minutes from now on. See you soon. Hello, Maria. Do you have any, any problem? Edgar, any problem, Edgar? Edgar, I will include you in a group, okay? So you can work in the activity. Edgar. Well, I can see you are over there in the group number five with Jonathan and Ronan, right? Well, I will get into ¿En qué página del documento está la, la 
Ay, no, es que me está sac me saca, a mí no puedo revisarlo. The peach is number 13. Berenice. Gracias. Ok. ¿Me escuchan? Sí. Yes. Right. Eh, lo vamos a practicar. Solo practicar, no hay que modificar nada. Es que si me meto otra vez a la miren, me va, me va a sacar de aquí. Solo ahorita puedo verlo. <risa> Y entonces, ¿cómo se Yo digo que lo practiquen. Ok, como usted lo diga. Tres es. Maintenance. Main. Maintenance. 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 Mantenimiento, dijo. Mantenimiento, ajá. Uh -huh. Este, la otra sería de, de, bueno, sería de cambiarle el nombre a, en vez de Jessica, Miguel, así va. Este, bueno, sí podemos cambiar el no, los nombres entonces. Y el, la empresa, imagino que es Rex ahí. Entonces sí, le, podemos, le podemos poner el nombre de nuestra empresa, no sé si le ponemos el suyo o el mío. Si quieres pongamos el suyo entonces. No, pues pongámosle otro. Hola teacher, estamos en silencio porque estamos eh, averiguando las pronunciaciones de las palabras que no conozcamos, como Merlin. Perfect, Merlin, ok. Oiga, yeah. va. Ok, that's really good. Por eso good. estamos en silencio, por eso estamos en silencio ahorita, porque estamos averiguando las pronunciaciones correctas. Oh, ok, sorry to interrupt, ok. Bueno. Good evening, everyone. Is there any problem? Are you uh, practicing? Chancy, good evening. Ay, teacher, disculpe, pero yo no puedo participar. Ah, ah yeah. Ah, oh, sorry, Chancy, I forgot it. Sí, lo siento, Chancy, ok. Lo siento, no me recordaba que está enfermita. Gracias. Ok.
Hello, everyone. Are you practicing? Well, I hope you're practicing. We're going to see in a couple of minutes, okay? Seven minutes more, and then we're going to get into the general class. Va a decir Alejandro. Eh, no, 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 Alejandro lo vamos a incluir. Vamos a hacer de cuenta y caso que Jessica está dando la bienvenida a Roxana y a Alejandro, que hay un tercero aquí, para que los tres participemos en la, en la conversación. ¿Por qué no lo practican ustedes, Norma y Juan? Por favor. Ok. Sí. Sí. Ok, está bien. Yo tengo ahí cositas que hacer. Ok. Bueno. Bueno. Solo va a estar de oyente ahí. Bueno. Ya no incluiríamos ahí a Alejandro, ¿verdad? No, ya no, ya solo ustedes dos. Solo cambien de nombre. Jessica Vaya, y... De nosotros podemos ocupar el problema. Ok. Vale, eh... Quiero ver. Empiezo yo. Me. <laughs> Hi, Norma. Welcome to the Rex. My name is Fernando. I am the Intrusive Safety Engineer. Thank you, uh, Mario, ¿verdad? Fernando, Fernando. ¿Cómo? Fernando. Fernando. Thank sí. you, Mario. Nice to meet you. My department is responsibility to keep safely of the plant. My department is responsible. I no, no. Yes. I see. I do of the maintenance. The department will be responsible to you. Great, you departments work together, but the mountain, maintenance chief is the share of the directive of the department of, no, pardon, your department. Deme, you... deme un minuto, deme un okay, minuto. Okay. okay. William, copia. William, William, copia. William, William, copia. Hello. Contesta. William vale, o Juan. No, perdón. No, no, no. De trabajo. Estoy trabajando todavía. <laughs> ya, ya, igual. You, my department is responsible for keeping the field to plan. But I see I will part of the maintenance department will I be responsible to you? Okay, great. I, I, in this, I, I, I'll, I'll be eh, yo digo part of no sé si está mal o, o está bien part of 
sea, para off, no sé. ¿Dónde, amigo? No. Donde dice ahí, donde está Roxana, ahí sí. Ahí sí, al B para off de maintenance, de formal. Para off. Ah, I'll be part of the maintenance. Ah, ok. Ya lo dijo usted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a great your department work together about the maintenance chef in charge of the of directing your department you will be responsible to him thank you Jessica may I call you if need help sure if I if they say if I may in call you if I, I call you if I need help yeah May, recuerde que esa es una pregunta. May I call you if need help? Sí. Yes. Sure. Sure. Seguro. <laughs> sure. Bueno. <laughs> It's a pleasure, como dicen. <laughs> It's my pleasure, yeah. It's my pleasure. Two minutes. Two minutes more. Okay. 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 Les agarra, les agarra calentura cuando estudian inglés estos teléfonos. Vaya, si los pide que lo hagamos así, este, los, 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 los tres, lo trabajamos primero con Gladys y después con José Aníbal. Yo el último. Bárbaro. Sí, de caballero. Primero, primero lo estamos. Sí, yo sé. Muchas gracias. Bárbaro. Vaya, está bien, entonces Gladys y yo lo vemos primero. Vaya. Okay. Well, I, I could notice that, that you were working really hard, right? And I could notice also that the, there are some people, uh, some men that are really gentlemen. Okay. Uh, well, we're going to start. Okay, because we need to take advantage of time. Uh, I want to congratulate Aníbal. Quiero felicitar a Aníbal porque es todo un caballero. Él sabrá por qué se lo estoy diciendo. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Me quito el sombrero, ok. <risa> Creo que debo de aprender mucho de ustedes. Ok, de hecho lo estoy haciendo. <risa> ok, we're going to start, ok, with the activity. Ok, I want you to do your best, ok, and to show everybody that you have been practicing uh, vocabulary, pronunciation, and, bueno, si lo pueden decir sin la necesidad de leer, eso sería... Super. Uh, well, let's start with, well, actually you are group number one, right, Aníbal, Berenice, and Gladys. So let's start with you. Sí, le sirve ser caballeros. Come on, Gladys. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the insurance safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. Uh, my department is responsible for keeping to safety for the plant. I see. I be part of the maintenance department. 
Will I be responsible to you? Great. Your department work together, but the mountain chief, the chair of directing your department, you will be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. Maya, could you if I need help? Sure. Okay. Now, Aníbal, the gentleman. Okay. Sorry, Aníbal. Uh, hi, Roxana. Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica or Noel. I'm the new transaction engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nice to meet you. My department is my is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant. I see. Are we a part of the maintenance department? Will I be responsible to you? Great. Uh, our department work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing the department. You'll be uh, responsible to him. Thank you. No, uh, may I call you if you need help? Sure. Thank you very much. <laughs> sure. Anima. Hey, Thank now. <laughs> okay, now listen, uh, that, that was quite good. Now, I want you to remember when you started in basic English one. Recuérdense cuando están en básico uno y hagan la comparación de cómo están haciendo las cosas. Cada grupo, okay, cada grupo. Uh, the word maintenance, okay, it's main, the word that you read, like maintenance or something like that, that actually is, is, is pronounced maintenance, okay? Maintenance. Thank you, teacher. But that was Thank quite you. good, quite good. Uh, Congress. Then I have Daniel, Michael, and Teresa. <laughs> maintenance. Maintenance. Yo, Daniel. Yo empiezo. Hi, Michael. Welcome to Rec Welcome to Marsal. My name is Daniel. I am the Eastern Safety Engineer. Uh, thanks, Daniel. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety of the plant and provide industrial safety equipment for the employees. I see I'll be a part of the maintenance apartment. Will I be responsible to you? Great. Our department works together but the maintenance chief is in charge of direction. Your department, you'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Daniel. May I call you if I need help? Sure. Thanks. Well, thanks for <laughs> hearing me. <laughs> yeah. That's it, teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so let us let's try to continue working on fluency, right? So that's one of our purpose in the third level of English. Patricia did a great job. Okay. <clears throat> then okay. we have Edgar, Merlin, and Veralis. <laughs> Um, I am a star. Um, hi, Veralis. <laughs> Welcome to Rex. My name is Jessica. I am the industrial safety engineer. Thanks, Jessica. Nice to meet you. My department is responsible for keeping the safety, the safety of the plant. I see. I'll be part of the maintenance department. Will I be responsible to you? Great. 
our departments work together, but the maintenance chief is in charge of directing your department. You'll be responsible to him. Thank you, Jessica. May I call you if I need help? Sure. All right. Now, I don't know if Edgar is participating. There oh, I know. He, he's a follow. listener, right? Yeah, he's a listener. Okay, but that was quite good. Thank you. Great pronunciation. That was fantastic. And we finally have Edgar, Jonathan, and Ronan. So were you as, as are you as listeners tonight? Well, Jonathan is a listener. Oh yeah, the three of them. And also I think Ronan, right? So Ronan, they are like they participating by like listeners tonight. Well, great job. <clears throat> I could notice that you really took advantage of time. Okay, so that's the purpose, right? Recuerden, el propósito cuando trabajemos en grupo es, hey, son 15 minutos, aprovechémoslos al máximo. O sea, esos 15 minutos tienen que estar 100% conectados con la actividad. ¿Ok? Tratemos de estar conectados con la actividad. Porque es, es muy poco tiempo y, bueno, depende de la actividad, pero de, de igual manera debemos de estar 100% concentrados para que eh, aprovechemos ese tiempo. Well, we're going to go over some activities, some other activities here. Okay, we're going to see some exercises. And then you are going to be given your time. Luego de realizar estos ejercicios, ustedes van a tener su tiempo. Okay, se recuerdan para presentar sus tareas. So here we go. Okay, <clears throat> over here we're gonna we're going to um, we're gonna see a couple of exercises. Okay, and uh, you know we since we are starting some, I mean having some review about certain uh, structures uh, like the infinitives, in this case, and we are in charge of working with some vocabulary. I, I want you to investigate about it. Let. I won't let you. Now, let's see. According to what we have been uh, working, right? So you're going to be given like two options. Okay. I won't let you to go or I won't let you go. We're going to discover something over here. What's, what's the, what is the best option for you? Infinitives. We're just getting into infinitives. To go. To go. Okay, now I want you, I want you, now what do you see over here? Oh, okay. It, is, it, it was wrong, it was wrong, right? But why? So, the, cor the correct one is? Go. Go, but why? So over here we have the answers, okay? When you have led, let over here, you are not going to use an infinitive. You're going to use base form. Okay? Base form. When you have base Let. form, when you have this uh, modal for let, I won't let you go. I won't let you 
completely. I won't let you. Well, just just complete expression, right? We we have a lot of expressions with it. So, but you got the idea, right? Let infinite. I mean, infinitive. No, we don't need infinity. We need base form. All right. Now we are discovering some thing regarding to the topics that we have been studying lately. Now, let you have the explanation on here. If followed by an infinity without two, you don't need two, but you need the, the bay form. Let us call it bay form over here so that we don't get complicated with it. Now, clear? Now, number two, he didn't allow me for the dream, pay or to pay. To pay. 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 Or to, to pay. pay. To pay. To pay. Now, let's see. We are just having some. Oh, uh, 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 what happened to here? <laughs> Providing all of the answers at the same time. Sorry, but this is this one, right? Okay. Wow, cool. pretty good. So, allow, allow is a verb that is followed by an infinity. Hey, let me see. Now, out. <laughs> Jimmy, I said, I don't know why. No sé si yo cometí el error de, de poner las respuestas. Todo. Bueno, lo vamos a iniciar. So the first, we say infinity, go. Mm -hmm. The second one, we say allow to pay. The third one, now yes. Okay, now we have new expression, right? Now, actually, you you, you got the meaning of this verb, right? Ya, ya tienen lo que significa esto, ¿sí o no? Recuérdense que estamos viendo vocabulario y estamos viendo también, de alguna manera, repasando lo que hemos estudiado. Let, I hope that you got the meaning, right? What about... About this verb, allow me to pay. Allow. So if you don't, if you don't know the word, look for it. Si no saben, si no, con, si no saben la, la palabra, estudienla, búsquenla ahí con una pestañita, así a la par, un diccionario en línea o un traductor. Now here we have this one also out you out peace with him make or to make <laughs> make or to mate to make sorry to make, make. Ah, sorry to make. make okay the expression quite good out is followed by a two infinitive and actually you say out of out of out of make out of make peace out of make peace out of now you, you know do you know this expression out to Ok, si no saben, estudiémosla. Ok, estudiémosla. Esta es una sesión para buscar vocabulario y expresiones nuevas. Para. Correct. Out is followed by a two infinity. Two infinity. Number four. He quit his job. Because they made him work or to work. Okay, thank you, Berenice. Berenice is investigating some words and she's sharing the information in the chat. 
Now he quit his job because they made him a worker to work. Work. Over time. Work. 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 Yeah. Well, if you say work, work, let's go over it. Yeah. And we have the info here, the explanation, right? So now, once again, if you don't know vocabulary, acuérdense que estamos en la etapa de aprenderse muchos verbos, muchos. No le voy a decir un número definido porque usted pone el número. Si usted dice 100, 200, lo que usted diga, pero yo digo muchos. Because they made him over time. So, when made is using the active... Oh, oh. No quería que apareciera este tema, pero ni modo. Ella, pues miren, nos sigue, nos persigue. When made is used in the active voice, is followed by an infinity without two. Uh, now, this is quite important, right? Este está, este está interesante. When made is used in the active voice, active voice, it is followed by an infinity without two. He quit his job because they made him. Ya no voy a explicar lo que expliqué ayer, yeah. pero ya ustedes se recuerdan. They yeah. made him. Okay. That is active voice, right? Active voice. So it is followed by an infinity, but without two. The verb make. Impassive. I mean, this is actually this is not a. This is the, let us let us say the active voice. So far so good. So far so good. Hasta el momento todo bien. So far so good. Yes. Okay. Number five. Ay, continuamos. He was made. He was made. Harder and harder. He was made work or to work. Work. To work. Over here we have it inactive, right? No, he quit his job because they made him active. And look at this, look at this one. Uh, he was made. He was made. He was made. It's different from they made him. Okay, he, he was made. This is passive, right? Now, worker to work. What do you think? To work. Okay, let's see if you if you got it. Wow. He says correct. When made, you see it's the same. It's in the passive voice, it is followed by an infinity with two. Aquí pasa lo opuesto, miren. With two. So that's why we have two words. He made it, he was made uh, to work harder and harder. Passive voice. Active. Uh, he quit his job because they made him work over time. Active. Passive. Number six. Number six, he is capable to solve or solving the problem of his own. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He is capable to solve the problem on his own, of solving the problem on his own. Tell me oh, one. Right. If you don't know, let us guess. And let us see the, the, the extra information the exercise provides. To solve. To solve. Okay, to let's solve. take this one. To solve. Now, we committed a mistake. Now, what is, what, what is the explanation? <laughs> Capable is followed by what? Uh, no, not exactly by ING. Okay, but capable, capable is followed by preposition, right? Okay, capable uh -huh. of, 
capable of. So that's something that you need to keep in mind and that you need to, to, to remember. And after a preposition, what do we need to have? I in your form. That's why the best option is of solving. He's capable of solving his, I mean, the problem was on his own. Number seven. Must not, you must not what? Reveal or to reveal the secret to anyone? To reveal. Now, listen carefully. I will, I, we're gonna learn something else on here. No, it's, it's wrong, but why? Because the infinitive is used without to after the models. Now, in, this is a model. Mm -hmm. This is a must is a model, should is a model, can is a model. Okay, after a model, we don't have to use infinities with two. They you let us use the base form, let us call it base form so far. Reveal. Reveal. Number eight. I forgot the door. I forgot lock the door to lock the door. Lock the door. To lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. It's a lock, right? Now, after forget, <laughs> after forget, you know, it is because you need to, you need to remember. You need to remember about the certain words, certain expressions. Okay, like the models. Now you know models. Are not followed by infinity. So, and this is part of the topic that we have been studying lately, right? So forget is another verb. And this verb is followed by an infinity with two. Forget to study, forget to clean the house. I forgot to, 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 to all the time. Now, number nine, you don't need worry or to worry about me. <laughs> You don't need worry or to worry about me. Worry. Worry? Yes. What's the, what is the correct one? To worry. To worry. After need, give me a second. There is somebody else. Okay, Juan Fernando. Now, now you know that's to worry, right? Because after need, you need to use an infinity. When need is used as an ordinary verb, it is followed by an infinity with two. Okay, need to study, need to work, need to whatever, but you need to use two. You need not for my drinks, not pay, not to pay. Give me one option. You remember that we are just seeing extra info. Feedback. That's why I chose this this extra six because it provides feedback. You need not to pay, pay. not pay. to pay, not not pay or not to pay. Okay, we're going to see this one. Okay, then you will you will see. Now. You need not pay for my drinks. When need is an auxiliary verb, it is followed by an infinity without two. You need <coughs> not, you need not, okay? Because you can say, remember that, in, this is different from saying, you don't need, right? You don't need, okay? So when you, so when you use uh, don't, Okay, don't is the auxiliary, but in this case, we don't have any auxiliary. The auxiliary we have is need. That's why we are going to use uh, an infinitive without the particle to. Okay, and we're almost done. Don't worry, because I think we have oops, 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 all the answers there. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're missing two. She refused to come or come. Come. come with me. She refused. Come, come with me. 
Come with me. Um, okay, so some people say to come, some others say come. Well, let's see, I'll choose one. And what was the best option? What was the best option? I mean, the correct one. To come in. To come. Okay, to and come oh, here we don't have any feedback because, you know, every single time you have the, the expression refused, refused to, refused to. And yesterday we actually saw some exercises with that expression. So that means that whenever you encounter that uh, verb, you know that it followed by to, refuse to come, refuse to uh, study, refuse to cook, whatever, right? So in the last one, I was forced. Hey, this is passive voice, right? I was forced apologize to apologize. 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 Wow. Hey, force is followed by an infinity with two. That's it. First. Now, you see. Wow. How many? How many good ones and how many bad ones? I will share the link as I usually do, <coughs> so that you can so that you can study, right? So if you can study, you can. Pueden, pueden ir, revisarlo, pues antes de se acostar y leer por qué. Porque hay algunos, por lo menos let, ya usted ya sabe que después de let, nunca vamos a usar un infinitivo, ¿ok? Uh, no quiero decir infinitivo Gracias. sin tú, porque entonces, pues, algunos lo... Um, luego van a ver por qué no les digo infinitivo ahorita. Okay, pero en realidad aquí, este aquí, funciona como infinitivo, pero sin el tú. O sea, así dejemos, por a mientras. Ok, and in this one, he didn't allow me, allow me to pay. To pay. To pay out es otra expresión que siempre va a ir con tú. Uh, esto, esto está súper porque cuando está en activo, ya saben que va a... Sin tú, sin el particle tú. Si va en voz pasiva, entonces ahí sí, con tú. Etc. Right, so, <coughs> you can continue doing so. Let me see. Quiero ir al otro ejercicio para ya darles el espacio a ustedes que puedan lucirse con lo que han estado trabajando. Now, vamos a, vamos a hacer un repaso a... a Vamos a ir directamente a, al ejercicio, ¿ok? Vaya, ahora sí, fíjense bien. Now, I will give you, let's say I have 10. Uh, yeah, we're going to solve only this. We're going to solve only these ones, ¿ok? Okay, so do me the favor to complete the statements by using, uh, I mean, after or uh, at uh, before, for, for, we, without, in, with, of, about, to, what are those? What are these ones? These are prepositions, right? So in these prepositions need to be used in the, in these different spaces. Okay, what are you going to do? You are going to complete the sentences by using the right preposition and the preposition you have are over here. So do me the favor to correct them. I mean, to complete them and then we're gonna check them. Now I will give you five minutes, cinco minutos, porque esto sí está super, solo tienen que, eh, que incluirle. Uh, una preposición a cada oración y ya luego lo chequeamos, ¿ok? Five minutes. Remember, I will ask some of you to help me. Okay. 
Okay, one minute more. Okay, I think it's, uh, I think you had enough time, right? So I will. 
I will include the one that you say, and then we're gonna check it, okay? She left me alone saying anything. Where is the preposition? Of. She left me alone of saying anything? We have after, at, before, for, for, without, in, with, of, about, and to. What's the best option? Where's the answer in the number one? In. Okay, now, out. then we're going to check it, okay? In, you say in. What about number two? Young people are more interested communicating in social media. Uh-huh. Preposition that you chose. For or about. Okay, let us choose only one. Es que no sé cuál de las dos. For or about. Well, I will use for, okay? Don't worry. No, ahorita no, o sea, digamos la que nosotros... Eh, pues tratamos de identificar como lo, la opción correcta. Tiger Woods is good at playing golf. Good at. Si nos equivocamos, nos va a servir. Si lo tenemos bien, lo vamos a reafirmar nada más, ¿ok? No sucede nada si nos equivocamos. Siempre ganamos. Ese es el objetivo. Now, everyone's fed up. No, eso sí, no sé. Everyone's fed up. Everyone fed up. Listening to the news yeah. about these viruses. Okay, let us hurry. Yeah. About. We say about. About. Okay, so listening to the news about about listening to the news about these viruses. Okay, number five, we decide to have dinner home instead. <coughs> Bless, uh, you. Bless you. Instead, I okay, a little bit quickly, please. You know you have. Your homework assignment and time is running. We have instead. Just give me one, one, only one. The one you consider what? Well, this is the this is the the one I consider it, it should be there, or it must be there. At going to at. Okay. People around the world are excited for of you say of celebrating a new year. Okay, I do apologize. I do apologize for for. Being late. Being late. Uh, the village is good. Yeah. Growing cassavas. Hmm. Okay. At. At growing. Having lunch. Most people feel sleepy. Okay. 
Having lunch, most people feel sleepy. After? After. After having lunch. And the last one, number 10. Having your meals, make sure you wash your hands. Before. 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 Okay. Now, if you want, you can take a picture of it. Pueden tomarle una foto así para ya luego compararlo con las respuestas que nos da la página. Okay. Take a picture. Well, I will share now, yes. I will share the link. Le voy a compartir en el, el enlace. Ahí van a visualizar las respuestas. Ok. Luego lo comparan. Solo, solo quiero mostrarles las respuestas una vez y luego van a tener su tiempo para mostrar sus tareas. Wow. Well, vamos, a, vamos a quitar esto. Y vamos a ver las respuestas correctas. Now, as you can see, well, there are some others are there. She left me alone without. Ok. Me dejó solo sin decir nada. Ok. Without. Young people are more interested in. Interested in. Tiger, Tiger Grits is good at. Tiger Grits is una persona, okay? Tiger Grits is good at playing golf. Everyone's fed up. Fed up. Grief. Grief. We decided to have dinner home instead of. Instead of. Van fijándose cómo van las expresiones. Fed up with. Instead of. Uh, good at, interested in, etc. Right? People around the world are excited, excited about. And the ING form, right? I do apologize for being late, for being late. The village soil is good for growing, for growing. After having, after having lunch, Ok, acá depende del contexto. Ok, after having lunch, most people feel sleepy. Ok, la mayoría de personas se sienten con sueño después del almuerzo. Y eso es un hecho. Before, before having your meals, make sure you wash your hands uh, for at least 20 seconds. Es un consejo antes de tomar tus alimentos, asegúrate de lavar tus manos. Por lo menos durante 20 segundos. Ok. So, do me a favor to, si es posible, memorícense cómo van las expresiones. Ok. Ok. Si ustedes lo practican de diferentes maneras, ya después ya van a saber cómo, cómo va. Es ya automático. Interested in, without saying, fed up quit, is good at, etc. So, I will stop over here. Voy a detenerme acá porque. Uh, quiero que ustedes participen con sus tareas. Okay. Now, I will mention people. Okay, now you know what to do, right? Um, I, I want to check Humber. That's what I want you to do, to check Humber. Okay, to tell me about what people at your company do. Okay, by using infinitives and in the forms, and if you want, you can include, well, the topic we studied yesterday. Okay, now I will ask one by one. Okay, espero aprovechemos el tiempo. Y cuando mencione sus nombres, pues automáticamente nos aporten algo 
con su participación activa. Ok, vamos a, vamos a hacer algo diferente. Voy a tomar el listado de, de abajo hacia arriba, ok. Voy a hacer dos llamados. En caso no tenga respuesta, entonces voy a pasar a, a, a otra, a la participación de otro participante, ok. Teresa María. Ok, Teresa María. Vera Liz. Vera Liz. I don't ready, teacher. Uh, but you're not ready? Okay, try to keep working on that. No se den por vencidos, si, si ahorita pues eh, tómense el tiempo y sigan avanzando porque no hay que, no hay que darnos por vencidos. Ok, uh, Michael. Ronan. Well, I think it's very fair for, for, for volunteers. Okay. Veamos por, por voluntarios. Okay. Volunteers, the ones that are ready, please. The ones that are ready with the homework assignments. Thank you, Juan. Fernando, go ahead. Vamos a verlas. My presentation. I can see. Yeah. Yeah, Fernando, we can see it. Okay. Uh, the my com the my company I work for this GCT Catering and Salvador. GCT Catering in Salvador, the entering the catering industry more than uh, 19 years ago and has since established ISOs was to name in the in the business it's a expert team is made up in 2010 2010 staff members each who have under one extensive training i am the sous chef of the gcg company in El Salvador and okay. Okay. in the company I am in the chair of the very fully all the minions of the company in El Salvador is very hard <laughs> I take care with the bus of the all distribution of the service of the line and then the airplane or the industry. When take care of the cost of the all minions. It's very important for minions and for the business. I have to train all the production stuff. It's very, very, very important for the production and the cook and the other people, the, the principal, um, the hygiene post. I had to verify all purchases interest in the kitchen. Is one point is very hard for the community to belong all the time. I want other things. 
and be close is cooking is my passion and have be working hard if 12 years and that's all wow Hey, congratulations, Fernando. Okay. Congratulations, okay, for doing your best effort. <clears throat> now, remember that this, this type of uh, sessions or classes are, or have like two purposes. One, vocabulary. Second, review about uh, topics we have been studying lately. And the most important that you can put them into practice, okay? And wow, that, that was a great, a great presentation. Uh, however, I, I highly recommend you to, to, to study deeply in detail pronunciation of certain words, okay? okay? But that was awesome. That was amazing. Okay, let me see. Okay. Any other participant who wants to participate? Thank you, Merlin. I think Merlin, you said. Voy a presentar, teacher. Okay. Now we can see presentation, Merlin, but we don't listen to you. I no tenía habilitado el micrófono. Now, yes, now we can listen to you perfectly. <laughs> Go ahead, Merlin. <laughs> Oh, sí. Yes, we can listen to you perfectly. I, I work, I work, I work at in the University of the El Salvador. Um, I am, I am main, main, main. Maintenance chef. Um, in this picture, uh, uh, I see or oh, oh, we see young people want to study at the university. Um, the authorities are meeting to plan the academic years twenty. 24. In this picture, um, we we see engineering students need to design a prototype, a prototype using 3D technology. Um, 
they tell the photographer to wait to capture the pet. Um, they are my partner in job. Um, in this picture, I am touch uh, the toe. Mm -hmm. Only that. Thank you very much, Merlin. Thanks for doing your best effort. And as far as I could notice, you use infinitives most of the time, right? Quite good. I hope that you have taken uh, advantage of new vocabulary, right? New vocabulary, new expressions, and also pronunciation. You did it quite well. Okay, any other participant who wants to part, to, to, to share information? Me teacher. Okay, Michael, go ahead. I I do and speak with, with my my coworker in the workplace. And start in our company with my co-worker to speaking about days in the company and she apologized he apologized for being slow in the workplace and i say john afraid of losing a little bit time uh, I say you you will learn with the timing. He is very responsible for collecting all the tools for beginning our tax in our work. Uh, that's it, teacher. Okay, very good. I inform after prepositions, right? Yes, Quite teacher. good, okay? Why good, Michael? Anybody else in a group? Now you have the opportunity, right? No more participants. Well, let's do something then. So let's take advantage of the time. If we don't have uh, more participants, let us work in the following. So tomorrow, you know that you are, we're in charge of practicing everything related to unit number one, right? El día de mañana vamos a practicar eh, diferentes, o vamos a realizar diferentes ejercicios, actividades, referente a la unidad 1. De igual manera, solicito que pues que aprovechemos estos 15 minutos para que ustedes eh, comiencen a preparar la actividad que nos van a mostrar mañana, ¿ok? Recuerden, la intención es mostrar lo que he aprendido durante la semana. Edgar, go ahead. Edgar, you have the opportunity now, or, uh, okay. Pretty good, activities that I carry out in my workplace, good. Okay, activities that I carry out in my workplace. Foreign Duke security manager. And, of course I import. Okay. Uh, I am responsible for planning, organizing, and executing activities related to Worrying and burying up the chips. Um, obviously, obviously supervising the loading and unloading of liquid natural gas and tuna fish. Uh, sometimes I commit, commit, commit to constant training myself in different topic of work and environment. And I responsible for manage 
managing and supervising the maintenance work in the soup box. It's very important to write the report of the maintenance we carried out. Um, I communicate to for security. I call to security officer officer to give me the daily report. On the literature. Thank you very much, Edgar. Great presentation. A lot of vocabulary. Right now, you got familiarized with the activities you do at work, but now in a different language, right? So that's perfect. That was perfect. Okay. So let me see. I will I, I will provide some feedback about what you did tonight. Uh well. Cuando les asigne una actividad como 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 esas, eh, pues has, hay que asegurarnos eh, de cómo se pronuncian las palabras. Practicar por lo menos una o dos veces lo que vamos a decir. Y si hay algo que no suena del todo bien, pues ir y verificar, digamos, la pronunciación. Ok, eso es importantísimo. Eh, lo otro, siempre les voy a sugerir o los voy a motivar a que traten de presentar la información sin necesidad de leer. Es más difícil, sí, pero es más provechoso. Más difícil, ok, pero es más provechoso. Ok, um, de esa manera practicamos más. Y um, repetimos más las palabras, asegurándonos que la pronunciación es la correcta. Y lo otro es cuando ya ustedes tengan un mensaje completo de lo que van a decir, asegurarse que cuando lo estén diciendo en inglés, que perfectamente saben lo que, lo que están compartiéndole a los demás. Que no vayan a usar una palabra que desconozcan en su presentación. ¿Ok? Porque así ganamos vocabulario al mismo tiempo. Tiene muchos beneficios, ¿ok? Now, let's see. We still have 10 minutes. Todavía tenemos 10 minutos. Y, uh, bueno, ya les dije, el día de mañana hay que estar preparados con actividades relacionadas a los temas que hemos visto eh, de la unidad 1. Ya ustedes sabrán qué actividades van a buscar en la web para compartirnosla. Al otro, mientras yo paso lista, váyanse por favor a la, a la plataforma, que he visto que algunos no, no han comenzado todavía. Ok, esperaría que eh, el día de mañana ya pueda reportar la primera nota. Ok, en el documento que ya les mostré. Aiden? Belen? Daniel? Present teacher. Thank you. Edgar? Present teacher. Thank you. Clarice? Jonathan. José Daniel. Present teacher. Okay, Juan Fernando. Present teacher. 
Alright, Maria Elba. Mario Cristóbal. Berenice, sorry Berenice, vi su mensaje en el grupo de WhatsApp. Lamento que esta noche haya tenido dificultades, pero espero que haya podido solventarlas. Berenice. No, tal parece que todavía sigue enfrentando problemas con internet. Merlin. En el chat puso present, profe. Ah, ok, thank you. Merlin. Hi, teacher. Hi there. Michael. Hi, teacher. Noah. Hi, here, teacher. Hi there. Norma Xiomara. Present, teacher. Thank you, Ronan. Teresa. Vera Liz. Present. Thank you, and Chancy. Present. Excellent, Chancy. <laughs> okay, now I highly appreciate, let me see, Jonathan is over here. Maria Elba also, Mario Cristobal. Okay, Berenice. Yeah, I, I got I got the message, Berenice. I'm sorry. Ronan is here also. Okay, thank you. Thanks for being on time. Thanks for uh, coming to every single class. Rompamos el record de, de, del nivel anterior. Me encantaría que lo pudiéramos superar. Eh, logramos, si mal no recuerdo, arriba del 90% en asistencia. Casi logramos el 100%. Miren, el nivel anterior fue tan genial eh, que logramos casi el 100% en, en actividades, en puntaje, y casi el 100% en a, asistencia. Espero que lo sigamos cultivando, porque pues recuérdense que en realidad solo son dos horas para aprender un segundo idioma. Yo por eso trato de dejar tareas casi en cada noche, porque yo sé que dos horas es muy poco, la verdad es poco. Entonces siempre he pensado que eh, los estudiantes deben de enamorarse de, del aprendizaje de un segundo idioma, de tal manera que en el diario, en la jornada diaria de trabajo, de de sus actividades, pues estén pensando también en, bueno, ¿cómo diría esto en inglés? ¿O cómo se dice esto en inglés? Uh, bueno, en, en la noche tengo tal tarea. Por supuesto, sin, sin desconectarse de sus actividades, ¿verdad? Pero en algún momento, algún espacio que tengan en el día, sería bueno que hoy con esto de internet y los celulares, ustedes saben que toda la información está al alcance de un clic. ¿Está? Darle un clic a una página. Ya nos despliega toda la información que nosotros queramos buscar. Entonces, la educación en ese sentido se ha visto muy, muy beneficiada. Um, yo atiendo estudiantes de diferentes edades y siempre he pensado que la mejor manera de, de que la educación eh, mejore es incentivar ese hábito de cada quien, de cada participante, de cada estudiante, a que, a que tomen eh, esto como algo, hey, esto, es, esto me va a hacer crecer como persona, esto es súper beneficioso. Um, y de esa manera creo que, 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 que funciona mejor la educación, es como... Tienen que hacer esto, sí o sí, ah, porque si no, pues este, van a quedar eh, eh, mal con los demás en el grupo. No, no es esa la intención, sino más bien el teacher nos da una, una oportunidad para que nosotros demostremos lo que estamos aprendiendo. Pues esa es la intención. Acá trabajo con, con personas responsables, adultas, que ya sabemos muy bien para dónde queremos dirigirnos, ¿verdad? Estamos en básico y queremos o, lograr un nivel avanzado y ¿por qué no hay otros niveles como un nivel TOC, un nivel um, ya para prepararse para un TOEIC, para un TOEFL, que ya es 
eh, son evaluaciones que son validadas a nivel internacional, ¿verdad? Que alguien puede hablar inglés si usted va a Japón, va a haber gente allá en Japón que hay, no habla español, pero habla inglés. A Francia no hablan español, pero hablan inglés. Uh, Estados Unidos, por supuesto, y diferentes partes del mundo. O sea, esto es, es muy significativo. Aparte de eso, si ustedes estudian todos los beneficios que trae aprender un segundo idioma, se van a dar cuenta que inclusive mejora la salud de las personas. O sea, trae muchos beneficios. Um, así que, aparte de eso, ayer, el, ayer les decía, bueno, ayer nos encontramos con ese, con ese huesito como un poquito difícil de roer, que se llama <risa> voz pasiva, voz activa, que no, no se preocupen que después vienen otras cosas un poquito más, más difíciles. Pero ayer les decía algo que yo personalmente lo experimenté y eso es cuando uno se encuentra con esas barreras tan que uno dice, wow, qué difícil está esto. Voz pasiva en, en cualquier tiempo, ¿eh? en cualquiera de los tiempos. Ay, qué difícil me están. Es, pretenden que yo use voz pasiva con todos los tiempos en inglés. Y eso ya lo van a ver en Upper Intermediate, ya más, más avanzadito. Ok. Pero entonces cuando nos encontramos con ese tipo de barrera es cuando más debemos de luchar porque cuando se pasa ese obstáculo eh, recibimos como, como esa, esa alegría, esa, eh, esa, esa vibra de que wow, lo logré, avancé, voy por más. Y se van a dar cuenta que cuando terminen los, los niveles de inglés Siempre van a seguir aprendiendo, igual que en español. Nosotros hablamos español y todavía no sabemos todas las palabras en español. Ok, no sabemos toda la gramática de detalle en español, o sea, eh, lo mismo sucede en inglés. Okay. Vamos a terminar allá por avanzado los cursos y siempre hay que quedarse aprendiendo. Así que con ese mensaje los dejo. El día de mañana, por favor. Sí, eh, prepárense porque vamos con las actividades de unidad. ¿okay? Cada quien va a depositar su granito de arena en la clase para que enriquezcamos vocabulario, pronunciación y al mismo tiempo ustedes dicen, miren, esto es lo que yo he aprendido. Esto ya no, ya no se escapa de mi aprendizaje. ¿okay? Así que pues lo dejo con eso. Y si hay alguna pregunta, algún comentario, pues bienvenido sea. Felicito a las personas que siempre están participando y animo a los demás a que, se, a, a, a que, a que um, tomen esa iniciativa de, de participar con más frecuencia en la clase. ¿okay? Es eh, una manera de, de motivarlos, de animarlos. ¿okay? No es, por supuesto, no, aquí a la fuerza no, pero, pero es... Es muy bonito cuando las personas levantan la mano y quieren pues, participar. Eso es súper, súper genial porque nos ayuda a interactuar como grupo. No que solo el teacher o que solo X persona. No, como grupo. Es más bonito. Es, es más gratificante. Así que uh, los dejo con eso. Y si hay alguien que quiera aportar, pues bienvenido sea. Y si no, uh, let us see tomorrow, people. Teacher, perdón. Sí, teacher. Ok, Daniel. Teacher, sí. eh, Aníbal. Ah, oh, Aníbal, go ahead. Eh, usted no mencionó de una aplicación que, que, que poníamos eh, así en simple, eh, presente simple y, y lo pasaba de un solo a, a los sí, tiempos. Sí. ¿La, ¿La encontraron? Yo encontré una que dice Linge, pero no sé si es esa. Es una aplicación con un logo verde. No, a mí me parece con un, como un rombo, como un rombo, como un hexágono. Y Pero tiene no, la L. Ah, es espérense, Link. espérense. Link, Link. Aquí está. Ay, aquí está. Bueno, uh, well, les voy a mandar una captura de pantalla al grupo, ¿ok? Y les voy a indicar cuál es. Ok. Porque aquí la encontré ya. Aunque, sabe, sí, aunque estoy viendo que 
la aplicación es con verbos irregular. Voy a ver si encuentro una con ambos. Mm, bueno. Ok. Por ahí se los comparto. Oye. Thank you, teacher. Okay. See you. Ok. Este, pues fíjese que yo estaba viendo unos videos que siempre la palabra by siempre se usa para, para pasarlo a, a pasiva. Ajá. Y la otra es que, que según me he fijado, si se habla en presente, el, el, la, la transformación tiene que ser en presente. Yeah, exactly, uh, Michael. Uh, but with the word by, with the word by, la, con la palabra by, okay, nos ayuda a... Um, a tener más claridad en, en el mensaje, ¿ok? Esta pintura fue hecha por Miguel. ¿Ok? Si yo quiero mencionar quién fue específicamente el que, el que hizo la acción, lo menciono. ¿Ok? Eso es importantísimo también. Y no se preocupen que mañana seguimos con Passive Voice. Mañana okay, seguimos okay, otro okay. ratito. ¿Ok? Okay, Hola, see, you okay. see you tomorrow. Good night. Sí, sí. Okay, good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night.